disgusting. Look at the arm. It's like he's got a sickness. He caught the equivalent of toy measles. That's what this is, toy measles. All right, everyone, we have our two buzzes, very, very similar. We have Medicom Buzz over here, and we have Takarotomi Real Posing Buzz over here. These guys are very similar in their design and what they're meant to do, and we're gonna have a good comparison between them, and maybe you could decide if you want uh, one or the other. Let's get right into it. Put this guy for the side for now. Now, before we do the comparison between the Takarotomi, and some people might want to know how he stacks up to a Thinkway, I'm going to do a quick comparison of this Thinkway buzz with the Medicom buzz. I'll make it brief because today I grew up already covered this matter much more in depth, so check out his Medicom buzz review if you want the details, but just want to make this brief. So, we have Thinkway here. Now, an obvious difference is going to be the height and the thickness of the legs. So some of the limbs are a little thicker on one versus the other. To get a good idea of the height, we gotta put them back to back, and there it is. So I don't know what you wanna call that, maybe half an inch or so, but there is a height difference. Very, very minor, and the thickness is different. But he has electronics and he does not. Hopefully that answers that question for those wondering. I knew he was smaller. Yep, Skeets had a feeling he was smaller and he is a little bit, a little bit smaller. Now, we are comparing these guys here. They have a lot of similarities. So first off, and I think Takara Tomi was the first to do this, Takara Tomi has the I don't know what you want to call this, uh, Skeets, this uh, arm extendy thingamabop. Yeah, the arm extendy mechanism. That's it, that's <laughs> well, very well put. So this was from Takar Tomy, and of course Medicom Buzz features the exact same mechanism. Right there. Another similarity between these two is the fact that they both have buttons that do not press, they're just for show. I figure that this being so much more, they'd at least let the buttons press. My goodness, but uh, we weren't lucky enough there. The uh, middle piece here, it is rubber on both, but this one does not move and pose. It's flexible, but does not stay there. Medicom Buzz actually does stay there. I'll do a little demonstration here. So you can put them up, there you go. You can move it down, then you move it side to side, and he will actually stay in that position, which is really, really nice. Another similarity is this little mechanism to get out of the way. They both have it, but it's not as well hidden with the Takara Tomy. With Medicom Buzz, you actually almost don't even know it's there. But under closer examination, it is. It has quite a range, by the way. But it's so much cleaner. It's nice. His foot bends right here. And believe it or not, so does Takar Tomi. They both have uh, the toe, I guess you could call that, uh, supination, maybe? The technical term, Skeets, help me mm -hmm. out on that? Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Boom. His actually goes back even further. What? What? I guess that's a point for Takara Tomi, not that we're keeping score here. Or articulation. Articulation, thank you. Skeets knows the words. Now, huge difference, and this is where this becomes a real big bummer. Well, two things. One, I mean, holy screw holes. Like, <laughs> Oh my god. So, <laughs> the uh, the screw holes here are pretty freaking nasty, and they are non-existent in Buzz, other than the ones that he's supposed to have in the movie. But here they did not try at all. There's a lot more. Oh yeah, it's nasty. Good, 
It's mm. disgusting. Look at the arm. It's like he's got a sickness. He caught the equivalent of toy measles. That's what this is, toy measles. The people with that phobia of holes would hate this one. <laughs> oh my, oh, that's a good point. I never thought of that. So, Takar Tomi, yikes. The other thing that's kind of a bummer when it comes to Takar Tomi is the wings are just, what the heck is this? This is not how his wings come out. Mm. Okay, that reminds me of some 1995 Thinkway toy buzz nonsense. Over here, while you still have to do it manually, if I'm able to do that, there you go. They at least have the proper wingspan and they come in and out the right way. So, you know, there's that. If they're gonna not be pressable, at least do it right. And major, major disappointment with Takara Tomy over here versus the Medicom Buzz over here. The other thing is, maybe worth noting for those who care, the helmet does actually move. It doesn't retract any further than this, but it is movable. With Medicom Buzz, you actually have to switch completely the different helmets here. So you gotta take this off, get the one that's, that's the full helmet, and then get the one that's just the little piece in the back. Some people may not like that, so I guess worth pointing out. And the other thing that is a plus for Takar Tomi is that while yes, you cannot switch his hands, they actually do move a little, albeit slightly limited, but you're able to do a pointer finger, you know, for button. And then uh, that's, pretty, yeah, okay, that's pretty much it. Just the, just the pointer comes out and uh, the thumb goes up and down. So, you know, you have that ability to move the hands. With Medicom Buzz, you are just stuck with having to switch the hands out completely because neither, or at, well, it, none of the hands, I should say, give you that ability. Now, here's where the differences really matter. Now, of course, this is not the stock head that comes with Takar Tomy Buzz. He comes with a what looks like a toy mode head. But original price, he's about $89. Right now, he's getting scalped pretty gnarly. It's two to 300 on eBay. But his original price was 89 bucks and all of these posing functionalities. This guy over here is 650 plus dollars with all those posabilities, the extra faces, the hands, all that good stuff. In reality, this is clearly the better buy for what he does for less than 100 bucks. But if we compare their current prices, 300 to 650, in my opinion, if you can, you know, save a little bit more, I would just go with this one for sure. But if you can pick this up for $89, it is by far the better value, without a doubt. Real quick, when I mean save more and pick this, I mean if you only have $300, and this guy is scalped to death. He's originally 89, now going for two to 300. Just save a little bit more money mm -hmm. and wait and pick this one up. That's what I mean. Something else too that I noticed is, Hit the, with it. is the, if you look here at the lights on either end, the ones on this one are like oh. more legitimate looking and not fake. True. As fake as like the Takara Tomy. That's a good point, Skeets. Thank you for pointing that out. We have the lights on both. This one is just colored. And while we don't actually have functioning lights in Medicom Buzz, they look like they could be. Yeah. They look like they could be. While on Takara Tomy is very obviously fake. And, you know, they just colored it in. Again, this is originally $89. For 89 bucks, I mean, you get a lot. Now that he's $200, eh, you know, you know what I mean? But I do like the fact that I've been able to get the Seed Toys head kit to put on here because now he has a ton of swappable faces, kind of like Medicom Buzz. Only problem is the face kit alone for Seed Toys head is like $500. So if you bought $89 
Takara Tomy Buzz and a $450 Sea Toys head kit, I would just save a little bit more money and just go with this guy because you get all of it combined, you know, more or less. So that's the breakdown. I think we did a pretty good job. Skeets, is there anything you feel that I may have Andy missed? Do they have on the bottom of their feet? Ooh, good point. No! Mm. Thank you. Look at that. This one, it, good. Look at the screw. <gasps> Disgusting! I never realized. Oh my god. <laughs> once, you, once, you, once, you, once you notice it, you can never unnotice <laughs> the screw holes. Good lord. No Andy over here. And of course, we got Andy right those, over here. It's those little things. The little things. I think um, you should compare them both standing next to Woody. Yeah, here is Woody. Look at that. We got Woody. Oh, he's a, need a, need a. Let's move him back. Let me just line this up just a little better. Yeah, get, 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 get. Let me hit him. Hit him right here. Hit him right there. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Boom. Here's how he stacks up to Woody. This is the Gen 3 Medicom Woody. Absolutely amazing. You can really see the height difference there. Yes. Now, I'm no aficionado i think today i grew up is the is the man when it comes to the proportion stuff but i do believe and skeets even mentioned it herself i'll let her speak here in a bit but i do believe that he's actually a little shorter than he should be i could be wrong skeets what do you think i actually looked at photos <laughs> before this oh, video shoot. she got the receipts and i'm sorry today i grew up but i disagree 100 percent in comparison those are fighting words those are fighting words in comparison to medicom woody medicom buzz is not proportional at all i would say standing next to woody to Tommy is way more accurate height wise and size wise period erroneous 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 on both counts oh lord <laughs> and, and and looking at them now like this i i can i can see it because we do know uh, today I grew up did measure and I measured too actually before he got his Gen 3 Medicom Woody that he is Medicom Woody officially correct height size. So we know Woody is exactly where he needs to be. These buzzes, you can see it. There is a difference and he does look a little smaller. I don't know. I don't know. Skeets looked at the pictures. I did not. So there's that, but looking at it, this does look a little bit more accurate to me. But at the end of the day, he's freaking fantastic. He is. He is. So aesthetically, so, he's a lot more pleasing. He is so good. He is so nice. He's so nice. Missing some functionality, and I obviously know this is never would have never been like all the electronics and stuff. That's not what I want. I would have loved some pressable buttons. I would have loved at least one of these to be movable, maybe a fourth one that's movable. And we would have, we really should have had one hand that has movable fingers. Like, come on, doc. For almost $700, that is not asking for a lot. Like, it really isn't. But there you go. That is my comparison between these two. Now, everyone who just watched this video and stayed to the end, obviously appreciate you. You are the real MVPs here. I see that 84% of you are not subscribed. What are we doing? Look at these beautiful videos. What are we doing not subscribed? Let's make that happen. And if you like what you see here, click that thumbs up, ring the bell, do the things, let the algorithm know I'm awesome, and pick up some merch. Gotta get the merch. Collectorstoychest.shop right there. Check out some shirts. We got the Red Dead Redemption, Toy Story, and well, for more things collecting of all types of franchises, hope to see you in the future. And uh, thanks for watching. Collector never stops collecting. Ah, yes! <laughs> Don't you forget, a collector never stops collecting. Thanks for watching. Boom. <laughs>